What's up and welcome to my second channel guys. Today we are bringing you along to the largest market here in Seoul, South Korea. This is called Namde Moon Market. So we are just walking in now. You can buy pretty much everything here from clothes to food and everything in between. And today we have picked out one particular food that we want to try. So we're going to try to find that. So there is just a ton of clothes in this part of the market that we're in here. Just all four ways. If you look, this is closed as far as you can see. Okay, I think we've located some food area. Oh yes. That looks really good. These are all the fake foods they've laid out for you to know what they do cook. Looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, we found some food, but it wasn't what we're looking for, so we're gonna continue going on. So this market is absolutely huge. We actually just had to ask for directions how to get to this fish alley. So different kinds of Korean pastries. And some dumplings over here. It looks like some buns that they will steam. Kimchi, kimchi and these ones, I think. Look at all those dumplings in the back there. Wow, that's a lot of dumplings. All right, this is what we were looking for. Hair tail alley. Let's go in. So hair tail is a type of fish. It's like a long bodied silver fish and the Koreans make it into like a spicy stew. So hopefully we're gonna be able to track down one. It should be pretty easy in this alley that is famous for it. Okay, I think we might have decided on one because we can see them cooking it right in the window here. Yeah. Looks really good, but my eyes are actually watering now because I stuck my face in too far. This is going to be really spicy. Yeah. This is their sign with the little the fish. And that is what it looks like, really long body hair tail. Yeah, cool. Let's try this one. Okay, so we picked a restaurant. There's quite a few in here, and I think she's just bringing over our bok chan here. So this is our side dishes, our banchan, and these look really good. And we ordered up two bowls of galuti doren, which is the hair tail soup, spicy hair tail soup. So I'm really excited to eat. Okay, we just got our hair tail stew and it looks fiery hot. It is extremely thick. Like that broth is almost like a paste. And there's some big chunks of the hair tail, huge chunks, two of them. And there's not even very much broth, just, just massive pieces of fish. And I just, I'm just gonna try some of this. And that's gonna be spicy, I know it. Oh wow, Whew. extremely spicy, extremely flavorful though. A really nice like roast kind of smoky chili flavor. And a little bit sweet too actually. And not much of a seafood flavor yet. But just check out these, these bowls. You can imagine how many pots of stew they've cooked inside of this. So she mentioned uh, that there is some seaweed or nori on the table and I think she kind of just showed me that I'm supposed to put it inside. So I'll grab some of this. Two of 
those in here. That'll be enough for now. I'll uh, kind of break that up. Okay. And I know that this fish is quite a bony fish. So I'm going to try to break a piece off. Hopefully with not too much bones. There's probably quite a few in there. And let's try that. Mm. Oh. Actually just soaked with that red pepper sauce. And with the nori, gives it a nice like seafoody flavor. Yeah, that's really good. And there wasn't many bones in there. And the bones that are in there are small enough that you can eat them. Okay, this is an extremely spicy bowl of fish stew, but it is awesome. And this meat is just coming right off the bone. Look at that. And let's try that. Oh man, just caked with that red pepper sauce. That's spicy. Okay, I just made a discovery. Underneath all this fish are huge pieces of radish. Wow, that looks really good. Okay, just to illustrate how effortless it is to take the meat off the bone of this fish, check this out. It's completely falling off and just one little piece left. There we go. No problem. Oh man. I'm gonna put that in my bowl. I'm nearing the end of this bowl and I just can't get over the fact at how much this stew has just caked onto the side. Check this out. It is like a paste and these big chunks of daikon at the bottom mix it with a little bit of fish and that is an ultimate bite. Getting spicy though. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, that was an awesome but spicy bowl of hair tail stew. Definitely recommend if you can find this place deep in hair tail alley at the Namde Moon Market. But yeah, really good. Eight dollars per bowl or eight thousand won. So we're gonna keep going. Maybe get another little snack. What did you think of that bowl? Ooh, that was really good. Maybe one of my favorite things we've had so far in Korea. So I have to agree with Sabrina. That was definitely up there with some of the best food we've had so far in Seoul. And that was such a like deep, deep spice. I can still feel it in the back of my throat. And right now we are just walking in front of a couple of street food stalls and looking for a little snack. Okay, I think we found something I want to try. And it's this right here. So. <laughs> Kimchi John? Hana. Okay, we just ordered up something I actually haven't tried yet since I come to Korea, and this is called a kimchi jeon, which is a Korean pancake made with kimchi and there's tons of ingredients in here. She just took one and fried it up pretty fresh for us and it looks like some green onions. I'm not exactly sure what's all inside of it and definitely some big pieces of kimchi. And it looks good but it also looks really hot. So let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit sour from the kimchi of course. It's not very spicy and a little bit crispy around the edges. It's pretty good. Huh? <laughs> Oh, okay. 
Right, that's going to be it for today's little adventure at the Namde Moon Market here in Seoul, South Korea. The largest and oldest market here in Seoul, and it was awesome. Lots of good food, and this kimchi john is a perfect way to just finish off this tour. So, if you did enjoy the video, let me know in the comment section. Leave it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye bye.